All right, good morning. You know, it's March 3rd and uh, just got back from my run. Doing good, lost 24 pounds so far. So happy with that. Um, weekends, weekends, I've cut myself back a little bit as far as keep knocking my progress back, but that's all right. I've gotten gotten into the lifestyle of, of running again and, and just getting exercise and so it feels feels good. I, I uh do <clears throat> doing good, excited today to see my kids. Um it's always the highlight of my my week. But yeah, hopefully looking forward to a real good weekend. But I'm gonna start off with a reading of uh Mark chapter one. It says in the beginning of the gospel <clears throat> The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet. Behold, I send my messenger before your face who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John appeared, baptizing in the wilderness and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea and all of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan confessing their sins. Now John was clothed in camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes one that is mightier than I, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open and the spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. <clears throat> you are my beloved son. With you, I am well pleased. And the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. And he was in the wilderness for 40 days, being tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild animals and the angels ministering to him. And now after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and you will become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat, mending their nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and followed him. And then when he came into Capernaum, immediately on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and was teaching. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit convulsing him, crying out with a loud voice, came out of him, and they were all amazed. So that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirit, so they obey him. And at once his frame spread throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. And immediately he left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. And now Simon's mother-in-law was ill with a fever. And immediately they told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And the fever left her and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick and oppressed by demons. And the whole city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. And rising very early in the morning, while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, Let us go on to the next towns, that I may preach there also, for that is why I came out. And he went throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues. 
and casting out demons. And a leper came to him, imploring him and kneeling to him, If you will, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. And Jesus sternly charged him and sent him away at once and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priests and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a proof to them. But he went out and began to talk freely about it and to spread the news so that the Jesus could no longer enter a town, but was out in desolate places and people were coming to him from every quarter. Yeah, I really, um, I really love the Gospel of Mark. It's actually probably the earliest gospel that was written and he gives um, just the gist of everything. He, he, the other gospel writers... Luke and Matthew, you know, they go into much more detail about the temptation of Christ and the, the um, uh, you know, what was actually being said uh, from Satan and, and what was said back from Jesus. But Mark kind of just gives you a, a brief overview. But in all these Gospels, um, it always starts with John. And, and it's hard to grasp just how big of a deal John was. He was um, the promised Elijah to come. He he went forward in the spirit and power of Elijah. He had the same arraignment, you know, wore, wore camel's hair and ate uh, locusts and wild honey. And John was, was a big deal. And, um, you know, and Jesus, when he starts his ministry, his message is repent, you know, same, same message from John the Baptist, same message from Jesus. And it's a message we all need to hear. Um, like, yeah, I, uh, I, I definitely need, need this word for, for me today. And, uh, just looking at, um, Jesus going out and calling, you know, the first disciples, to become fishers of men and um just that that is a real thing you know that god is uh he, he's looking for people who are um gonna be used by him to bring other people to him because that's that's what he wants is uh a relationship with people and uh i think it's awesome you know that they just they left everything and they they followed him jesus you know uh, teaches with authority and has power over uh, the demonic world. And, and the demonic world is very real. And it's right there in the congregation where he's going. Um, that's, it, it's, it's right there. And, uh, you know, he had power over disease and sickness. And uh, that's just so good for me as a believer to... Uh, refresh reading through the Gospels uh, and just see how much, you know, um, real power was in my Lord Jesus. And uh, yeah, it's very, very interesting, especially in the Gospel of Mark, uh, how big of a part of the ministry of Jesus was casting out demons. Like it was, it was a significant thing. It happens again and again. And then I love how the leper comes to him and says, you know, if you are willing, you can do this. And Jesus is willing. And that's something for us to uh, take to heart because I think anyone who believes in God knows that God is able, knows knows that Jesus is able to do um, whatever uh, but he himself tells us he's willing and, um, I, I need that, um, faith building, uh, stuff going into my day and, and just hoping for, for a good day. Hope you guys all have a great day. God bless.